Hi, this is David Kino of Value Charts, and this is the free video for Wednesday, November 11th, 2015. So we are looking at the Russell 2000, and it's probably very indicative of the other um, indices, but uh, we're looking at the IWM, the ETF, on a two-minute chart. And you notice right here at the open, we're in this consistent move lower. We actually transition from neutral blue MQ pivot circles into the red or lower high, lower low pattern of the bearish circles. And right here, when we start to look at the pattern, actually form a bullish low after being neutral here, we actually get a very good indication of a turn in the market. Now, this actually falls in line with a lot of what we do with the uh, Everyday Profits Workshop. But just looking at the pivot levels, we can identify this high and this high as two points in which we can connect with a line. Uh, again, they're not absolutely perfect, but they're really, really close. So when we go from being bearish to neutral to bullish, now we start to break. Upon a break of this ascend, this move higher, this horizontal line at 117.60, we have the opportunity to go ahead and go long and be bullish in the Russell 2000. You can see this is a very strong move. It pulls back in a bull flag, goes higher yet again. If we look at Fibonacci, we can actually see how strong a pullback this actually was. From the high to the low, we see that it was a very clear 50% retracement, 618 retracement, and very close to the 76.4% retracement. And then it actually makes another move above the 76.4, nearly the high of the opening range. Uh, but what's important is that the pattern fit very well with reading the pivots. Again, you can read them by color. You can read them by how we can connect them with the line. In this particular case, it is a horizontal line. Sometimes it is a uh, positive or negatively sloping um, uh, directional trade. But in either case, uh, and, and that would actually be this line. From this high through this neutral one. And right here is where we would have entered based on the trend line. Right above it is where we would have entered at the horizontal line. So within one or two bars, we would have been in a bullish trade on the way higher in the Russell 2000.